Hey everyone, it's Honda Nguyen. How's everyone all doing today? All right guys, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use the SanDisk phone drive for iPhone, for your iPad, computers, or whatnot. Um, you know, I did a video of the unboxing of this drive right here, and I said that I'm gonna do a follow-up video on how to use it. So today I'm gonna to go ahead and show you guys how to use it, okay? And before we get started guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you any money, but it helps out the channel greatly and I really appreciate you all. All right guys, let's get started. All right guys, so right in front of me is basically my iPhone 14 Pro Max and this SanDisk phone drive for iPhone. All right, so I've been, uh, you know, getting annoyed because my iPhone always runs out of space. And uh, so, you know, before, if you guys have followed my uh, channel and th this type of video, I did a couple of videos on this drive as well, but an older drive, okay, like another type of drive. But today I'm gonna be doing a uh, kind of like a brand new uh, drive that they have available right now. It is the uh, SanDisk phone drive for iPhone. And it looks like this right here. Okay, so, what it does is it's gonna save your basically your photos and videos on this drive, so that way you can e delete those, you know, videos and photos on your phone to save up space. Okay, so you you know you can bring this out and about. It's very compact, uh, you know, small space saving. So I really like it. I bought the old version, but then they came out with this new version, so I bought this one as well. And like I said, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use it. Okay, so. If you guys like have an uh, iPhone 14 or older, it's gonna use the, um, it's gonna use this one right here. It's gonna be the lightning connector, okay? But if you guys use like the iPhone 15 or 16, it's gonna use the C, uh, USB-C. So if you guys have never bought one of these before, I would just uh, recommend you guys buying this one because it has both ends, okay? Just in case if later on you guys change phone, you know, like if you guys have an older phone, and then later on, you guys change it to a 15, 16, or possibly a 17 later that uses the USB-C connector here. At least, you know, you don't have to go ahead and, you know, go and buy another one, one of these, okay? Because there are one, or there is one that only sells like this with the Lightning, but it doesn't have uh, the USB-C. So I would recommend just buying this one right here. And if you guys are interested, I will leave uh, the link in the description box to where to pick one up, okay? Because it'll be more convenient for you later. Um, if you buy a new iPhone, it has both side, okay, or both connectors, so you don't waste money and buy another one. All right, all right. So back in the days, or a couple of years ago, they have this app right here. It's called the uh, here. Let me sh let me uh, clear it up real quick here. Uh, focus it real quick here. Before I would use the um, Sandis iExpand Drive, um, they came out a new one called the Sandis Memory Zone. So that way it can work for both the uh, lightning adapter and the uh, USB-C. Okay, so I mean, I still use this one. It still works. But then now, like I said, they discontinue this app right here, but I still have it on my phone. I can still use this one, but I'm going to show you this one because this one is actually, they made it a little bit easier to use for the uh, USB-C type, okay? Uh, I do have an uh, uh, iPhone 15 as well. I use a USB-C type and it does the same thing. It's the same way of um, uh, basically saving your videos and photos and all that. But today I'm going to be using my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Okay, so I'm going to be using the lightning side of this adapter. All right, so before you guys can do anything, you guys want to download this app right here. Okay, the uh, SanDisk Memory Zone. Just go into your iPhone uh, store or application and just download it. And once you download it already, it's going to look like this. This red icon right here, or this red symbol, it says SanDisk Memory Zone. And this is the latest app that they have for the SanDisk device, okay? All right, and then this one right here, like mentioned, it has two ends. One is the uh, Lightning and one is the uh, USB-C. So this phone is going to be using the uh, Lightning connector. So we're going to be using this head right here. And then what you guys want to do first is you guys want to plug it in. Once you plug it in, it should... It should uh, recognize your device, okay? So let me, let me uh, actually, let me uh, tap on Memory Zone app first, so it opens up, okay? And then I'm gonna push it in, okay, to uh, for it to connect. See, when you turn on the uh, the app, it's gonna say, "Please connect your device." I haven't connected yet because I haven't pushed it in yet. 
So I'm going to go ahead and push it in now, and it should recognize the device. All right, so I already pushed it in. Give it a couple seconds. As you guys can see, it's already um, recognized it already. So it knows that this is the iPhone, and it is the SanDisk iXband Flash Drive Lux. All right, so it is the Lux brand. Um, so let me uh, zoom it in a little bit so it'll be easier here. So I'll zoom it in right there so you guys can see a little better. So once you plug it in, it should recognize your uh, phone or your, uh, not your phone, but your um, your unit, okay? The iPhone uh, storage unit. And this right here indicates that this is your phone and this is how much memory you still have, okay? So I basically running out of memory. You see that it says 126 0.17 gigabyte of 127.87 gigabyte use. So my memory on the phone is actually pretty, pretty low. So uh, I really need to get rid of some uh, pictures and videos so that way I can free up some of my space on my phone. And uh, yeah, so this purpose today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, okay? All right, so you guys wanna go here. Once you plug the device in, it's gonna show this as iPhone or um, if you guys are first, you know, starting out, when you guys plug it in, it's gonna ask if you guys want to name your device. I just name it iPhone, just uh, you know, just for easy, easiness. Okay, you can name it the iXband Drive. You can you can name it Storage Unit, whatever you want. But I just name it iPhone, uh, so I know what it is. All right. So now, now what you do is you tap on this right here. Okay, you want to tap on that, and it's gonna show you all these stuff right here. But this is not where you're gonna. You know, it basically shows what you've done before, okay? But um, if we want to save the videos and picture, we want to go back out. It's not going to be this one, but it's going to be this top one right here, okay? So tap on the top one, which is your phone. And then once you tap on that, it's going to say copy. So what we want to do is press copy. And then once you want to, uh, once you press copy, you can actually do two things, okay? But the main thing is we want to copy from iPhone or from phone. We don't, um, you can copy from external device as well to your iPhone or the main, uh, you know, the main purpose of this video is to copy from iPhone to the unit. So that way you save space. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tap on copy from phone to the unit. And then right here, it says select data to copy, copy all. I wouldn't do copy all because it's going to be too many videos and pictures and contacts and all that stuff um, it's going to be a lot and it's going to take forever and it might freeze as well so i would recommend you doing it uh one by one or you know a couple you know a couple at a time okay so we're going to go ahead and go to gallery you guys don't want to put all selected you guys don't want to do that because then it's going to select everything so don't do that just tap on the arrow right here and then once you tap on the arrow you have all these album on your phone itself. We're just going to go to recent. Okay, so recent is where all your recent pictures and video is going to be located. So we're going to go ahead and tap on that. And then once you tap on that, you're going to see all your recent uh, pictures and videos right here. Okay, so let me see if this does anything here. Okay, so it's just sort by date created or type. We're just gonna We're just going to leave it the way it is. All right, so right now it's going to show you all my videos and pictures here. I was hoping that, you know, it has like a um, an icon where you can just select videos only or pictures only because it's kind of hard to see which one is a video and which one is the uh, the picture. So, you know, so just kind of memorize it, uh, you know, look at your photos and videos on your gallery and just memorize which one it is and then just select it. So we're going to select this one. We're going to select uh, another picture here. And then uh, I believe this is a veto right here. Okay, this is a veto right there. So I'll select that. And then once we select that, all you got to do is press confirm selection right here on the bottom. Or if you select all, it's going to select everything. Okay, and it's going to be a lot of pictures and video. And like I mentioned earlier, it's going to uh, freeze or it's going to take forever. All right, so let me tap on it so you guys know what I'm talking about. So let's say we tap on select all. It selects everything and it selects 3,000 items. You see that? That is way too much, too many. And it's going to take forever and I believe it's going to freeze up. So let's unselect it real quick, deselect all. And let's go back to selecting the one that we want. 
we'll do two pictures and we'll do a veto here hopefully that's the veto that's why i'm like you know i'm kind of like disappointed that it didn't show which one is a video or which one is a picture so it's hard to know which one is a video or a picture you guys get what i'm saying so now let's go ahead and press confirm selection and then once you press confirm selection it's going to show you that you select the three items and then you see down here it says next this is where you're going to press next okay and next and it's going to ask you where you're going to save it i did a couple of testing so i you know couple of testing to test it out before I did this video but once you get into the screen you want to press plus right here you guys see that plus to create your own folder or a new folder so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that and then we're gonna add a new folder we're gonna go um, well, why don't we just do testing and I'll do testing testing so we don't get confused with the other testing and then save folder and then once you save the folder it should be right there and now you want to save your pictures and video onto this folder right here. So go ahead and tap on that. And then once you tap on that, it's on the folder already. But if you want to create a new folder, you can. But we already created the new folder, which is the testing testing. You see it right here. So now all we got to do is start copy. And then once you start copy, it's, they're gonna, it's going to be really quick where it asks you if you want to delete it from your phone or not. Okay, so I'll show you that right now. So start copy. And it start copying right there. It shows you and it says delete from phone. I'm going to tap on that real quick. And it's going to say delete three items from your phone. Send this memory. Just copy three items. Delete this item from your phone to save up, you know, 36 megabyte of space. Contact will not be deleted. So either delete or do not delete. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm going to go back out because I don't want to delete it off my phone yet. But that's it, guys. That's how you copy your videos and photo on the brand new unit um, on this brand new unit right here the uh, Sandisk phone drive for iPhone alright then how do you know if it's actually copied right so I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to locate uh, those those videos and picture that you just copy let me zoom it back out a little bit there so you want to go back out by tapping here, okay, by tapping here. And then it goes back out here. This is your phone. This is the SanDisk phone drive. So you want to tap on the SanDisk phone drive to see it, okay. So once you tap on that, you guys see that folder right there that says testing, testing. That was a folder that we created earlier and that we copy the video and picture in there. So if we were to tap on that, they should be in there. So let's tap on it real quick there it is guys those are the two picture that we copy and i believe that's a video that we copy um that's it pretty straightforward how to copy it and how to uh see where it's at okay and then if you let's say if you guys come in here and you guys don't like it you guys can tap on the three dots right here and then you guys can copy it again move it delete encrypt rename file share i'm not going to do any of that but you can delete it if you guys want so if you delete it it should disappear so let me delete it real quick are you sure you want to delete this item I'm gonna go ahead and press delete and the item disappears all right guys so pretty pretty straightforward um, I actually really like this unit I like the previous unit I have like a couple of them um, still in my possession I still use them but that just this is just a newer unit it comes with the you know lightning uh, side and the um, the USB side as well. There was one that's previously the same, very similar, but this one is a new one, so I, I kind of picked up the new one, and I really really like this, these units, guys. So once uh, once you you know copy and delete all your or copy and um, save all your uh, videos and photos, you can go to your phone and you can start deleting all that stuff, so that way you guys save space. And you guys have more space on your phone. All right. And the good thing about this one, because the older version, uh, the older uh, app, it did not have a de um, eject uh, button. Remove this right here. Okay. The uh, the SanDisk uh, drive itself on the, on the previous app. But this app actually has it. And the eject button is actually right here. 
So all you got to do is tap on that and it's going to ask you if you guys if you guys want to remove it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But let me zoom in so you guys, so you guys can see better here. Okay, so we're going to head and press eject and it's going to ask right here eject iPhone safely disconnect your device. So we're going to go ahead and press eject and it is ejected successfully. And now it's going to come back to the front screen and it's going to ask you please connect your device. All right, guys, so that's pretty straightforward. That is how you guys use the brand new SanDisk phone drive for iPhone, iPad, computers, or whatnot. But this one is more like I bought it for my iPhone because I use, you know, I use my iPhone a lot. I do a lot of videos and pictures. So the purpose, you know, for this unit is for the iPhone and it works really well. And I really like it. Okay, so, you know, you know what I mean? So I like it. So I bought a few of them, like I said, and it works for me. I don't know if it's going to work for you guys or not, but it works for me. As you guys can see, it's working uh, in the video demonstration or whatnot. But yeah, guys, that's how you use it. Uh, hopefully this video helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions or comment, leave them down below. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing, okay? It doesn't cost you any money, but it helps out the channel greatly. And I really appreciate you all. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.